Hi guys, so in this video we are going to talk about another quantitative interview question. So this question is based on the concepts of probability and expected value. So yeah, let's jump into it. So the question is that in a shuffled standard deck of cards, how many cards do you expect to pull until getting an ace? Okay, so before jumping into the solution, let me uh, explain a bit about the deck of cards. I mean, most of you might have might already be aware about this but in case you know someone is not aware so let me explain all the terminologies related with card games and everything and uh, another thing is that if you are appearing for a trading interview so it is better that you know things related to these cards or you know game of chess or game of name because name because these are like very commonly asked and in case you do not know so it will be hard to solve that question in that particular interview anyways so like this is a standard deck of cards so a standard deck has 52 cards and they are four suites okay so those four suites can be uh, identified by the shapes drawn on the card so if you see this shape so this is called spade okay this suit which has the shape of heart is called heart this is called clubs and this is diamonds okay so there are 13 cards of each suite so in they, since they are four suites so if you do 13 into 4 so hence a standard deck has 52 cards okay now those now among those 52 cards like 26 cards are black and 26 are red as you can see in this particular uh, image as well and each suit as i said has three, 13 cards so like 13 cards are like this that uh, they are nine cards nine numeral cards like if you see two three four five six seven eight nine ten then there is j which is called jack then they, they are three face cards basically these are face cards j q k so j is jack q is queen and k is king and then there is this ace okay so like if uh, any of you might have gone to casino and played some card games like one of the very common games played at casino is highest card wins so in that uh, there is you know a precedence related to all these cards so like the precedence goes something like precedence value goes from left to right like two has the lowest precedence and ace that is a has the highest precedence and as the number increases the precedence increases j has greater precedence than 10 q has greater the precedence than j and k has greater precedence than q and a that is ace i already said is the higher has the highest precedence similarly like if someone might have played blackjack so in blackjack like uh, the game is simple that you have to that, that the closest score to 21 wins okay so in that like each card has a denomination associated with it so like numeral cards have same denomination like two is two three is three is, and so on like that until 10 j q k and are regarded as 10 and a can be regarded as 1 or 11 i mean it's up to the player but he how he wants to count a whether he wants to count it as 1 or 11 so anyways like as i said our question is that we have this standard deck which has 52 cards and let's say they are shuffled randomly and we start drawing cards one by one so what are the expected number of cards which will be drawn until we get this ace okay so let's see how we can solve this particular problem so as i mentioned like in a standard deck there are four aces and let's denote f of 4 comma n this function as the expected number of cards to be drawn from a deck of n cards until we get an ace okay so we have to found find f f of 4 comma 52 because as i said that a standard deck has 52 cards now let's see how we can find that so we can again solve this question using the bottom up approach so uh, this is simple like if they are n cards and four of them are aces then obviously n minus four will be non ace cards okay so let's try to solve this problem bottom up let's say they we have total four cards only and all of those four were aces okay so f of four comma four what it would be it would be one because no matter how they are shuffled whenever we will draw the first card it will be definitely be an ace so in that case the answer is one Okay, now let's try to find the answer of f of 4 comma 5 that is we have total five cards four of them are aces and only one is a non ace okay so what would f of 4 comma 5 be so let's see here so let's say however they are shuffled so there are only two possibilities like we draw the first card and it is an ace okay so in the first withdrawal itself we get an ace or we draw the first card and it is a non ace then we will draw the second card and it will be definitely be a ace okay because only four aces are left so the expected number of cards would be like what is the probability of getting an ace in the first go so it's four by five and you draw you you would draw only one card hence four by five into one now what is the probability that you 
that in the first card you get a non ace so that is one by five only because they are there is only one non ace and five total cards and then there will be four cards left all of those are aces so what is the probability of getting an ace here that is four by four only that is one and in this case you withdrew two cards so hence this is one by four multiplied by four by four multiplied by two so if you solve this you will get four by five plus two by five which is six by five which is one point two Okay, so in this case, the expected number of cards which should be drawn until you get an ace is one by one point two. That is six by five. Now let's try to find f of four comma six. That is, we have four aces and two non aces, and we have total six cards. So again, the thing is same only. Like either you get an ace in the first withdrawal, or you get a non ace card in first withdrawal, and then you get ace in second withdrawal, or you get the ace in the third withdrawal. Okay, like first two cards you got were non aces. So in this case. what is the probability of getting a ace in first withdrawal so that is 4 by 6 because there are only four aces and total six cards in this case you only withdrew one card so 4 by 6 into 1 now let's say you got ace in second withdrawal so first card must have been a non ace so what's the probability of getting non ace in first card that is 2 by 6 because there is only two non aces and six total cards then you are left with five cards and what is the probability of getting ace in the second withdrawal that is 4 by 5 because you have four aces okay and in this case we draw only two cards so this is this multiplied by 2 similarly you got non ace in first withdrawal that is 2 by 6 multiplied that is the probability now you got an again non ace in second withdrawal that is 1 by 5 because there are five total cards left four of them are aces and one is a non ace and then 4 by 5 4 by 4 because you got ace in third withdrawal and in this case you draw withdrew three cards okay So if you'll solve this, this will come out to be I think this is four by six plus this is what a uh, sixteen by thirty, and then this is uh, I think this should be okay six by thirty. Yeah. So I think if you'll solve this, this will should come out to be forty two by thirty, which is seven by five, which is one point four. Okay. and similarly you can compute f of this thing uh f of 4 comma 7 and you will see that uh, it will come out to be 1.6 that is 8 by 5 okay so by now careful viewers must have seen that there is a pattern there is clearly a pattern here like when there were uh five total cards okay like let's say when there were four total cards so we got the answer as 5 by 5 which is 1 when there were five total cards we got the answer as 6 by 5 which is 1.2 when there were total six cards we got the answer as 7 by 5 when there were total seven cards we got the answer as 8 by 5 okay so you can see the pattern here like if we would have n cards in which four of them are aces so the expected number of cards which will be withdrawn until we get a first ace will be n plus 1 by 5 okay i mean this pattern is clearly visible so if this question was in an mcq i mean i would taken in an online test or online assessment i would have taken a risk here because usually do not have a lot of time to spend there and mark the answer as this but in an interview you need to prove this so yeah and another thing is that you you can also see that this is an arithmetic progression like with the common difference of 0.2 like the answer was 1 then it was 1.2 then 1.4 1.6 so you can also compute the nth term using the formula of arithmetic progression i mean i am leaving that as an exercise for the viewers because if you can do that then you should not come for a trading interview anyways so let's try to prove this like uh that f of 4 comma n is n plus 1 by 5 so we'll use the principle of mathematical induction okay so yeah so again like we have to find this that what would be f of 4 comma n uh what you can see here is that like there are only two possibilities like one is that when you start withdrawing the cards you get ace in the first withdrawal itself okay so one possibility is that you get ace in the first withdrawal so this is this possibility i am denoting so the probability of getting ace in the first withdrawal itself is this uh it would be what 4 by n and you would draw only one card so into one now other possibility is that other possibility let me show you what it is like you would draw first card and you did not get an ace in that okay so the probability of getting a non ace is this uh n minus 4 by n and in this case 
what did you do you withdraw one card and now you are uh, left at this position and that is that you are now left with what uh, you are now left with this particular position that there are still four aces left and you only have n minus one card okay so yeah this is this so you are left it basically you are this can be written recursively like this that f of 4 n minus 1 now you have to compute this that is let me explain it again like there are only two possibilities one is that you got ace in the first attempt only so the probability of getting that is 4 by n multiplied by 1 okay because like 4 by n is the probability which which you can withdraw ace in the first go and you withdraw only one card in this case another thing is that you did not get ace in the first attempt so what would happen you got got a non ace what is the probability of getting a non ace and minus 4 by n multiplied by you withdraw one card plus now you are left at a sub problem and that is f of 4 n minus 1 like and so basically we can write f of 4 comma n recursively as a recursive <coughs> formula and this is this as I explained that f of 4 comma n can be written as 4 by n multiplied by 1 plus n minus 4 by n multiplied by 1 plus f of 4 comma n minus 1. So now let's try to find the value of this using principle of mathematical induction. So let's assume that f of 4 comma k is equal to k plus 1 by 5 where i ranges from f of i ranges from 4 to n minus 1. Now let's find f 4 comma n. So we have written f 4 comma n as a sub as this as a recursive formula and if we expand this this will come out to be this will be 4 by n and if you do this this will be n minus 4 by n and as i said f of 4 comma n minus 1 we have assumed that f of 4 comma k is k plus 1 by 5 so this will be n by 5 okay now this is 4 by n plus n minus 4 by n and this will become n plus this bracket will become n plus 5 by 5 and if you take the lcm here which is 5n so this will become 20 like in numerator this will be 20 this and if you expand this part this will come out to be n square plus n minus 20 okay so this 20 and 20 will cancel out and you have got n square plus n by 5n you can take the n common in the numerator you are left with n into n plus 1 by 5n this n in the numerator and denominator will cancel out and the answer comes out to be n plus 1 by 5 okay so using principle of mathematical induction we have proved that f of 4 comma n is n plus 1 by 5 and as i told you that we had to find f of 4 comma 52 so this is equal to 53 by 5 so this is the answer in our case so i think that was all for this particular video i hope you guys like this please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all next time